The Bible says that when Jesus Christ was in this world, he preached that God was a loving father. Many of you do not have fathers. Some of you don't have fathers who have loved you. But I'm here to tell you that God is a loving father. God loves you and he created you so that you can have a relationship with him. But the question is, do you love God? Do you know him? Do you have a relationship with him? If you know Jesus, you will not live in sin. Do you want to know Jesus? So when are you going to get to know Jesus? Soon. Hopefully. Can you guarantee? Can you guarantee that you'll be alive tomorrow, my friend? No. No. So there's a there's a possibility that it, that if you say, I want to know God in the future, you might not get that chance because you can't guarantee 10 minutes, right? Yeah. You see those people in Toronto um, near Young and Finch who were killed many weeks ago by that crazy guy in the van? They didn't know that it was going to be the last day. Anything can happen in this world. So that is why God loves us and he made a way for us to be saved through Jesus Christ. You receive him, you have everlasting life. So that is how God demonstrated his love for you. So today, the Bible says, is the day of salvation. Don't put it off, young people. If you go to the cemetery, there's lots of young people there. You find young people, old people, the rich, the poor, black and white. The death, death swallows all. But I'm here to declare to you that there's one who defeated death, and his name is Jesus Christ. He rose from the dead. And if you believe in him, he will raise you from the dead one day. You will see him face to face. You got, you got God's promise that if you trust in him tonight, not only will you forgive you of the horrible things you've done in the past, he will make you a new person in Christ Jesus. So receive Jesus Christ today. Don't put off salvation because you do not know the day that you will die and stand before God. Don't go there unprepared or unaware. Jesus Christ is your savior and he loves you. the mindset that they're going to make it to the age of 30. Because we live in Toronto, we know that the life expectancy for young men usually isn't until the age of 30. So the reason why the gospel is preached in general so that people can receive Christ. Because if they die without Christ, that's an eternity in hell. So, some, so let me give an example. Somebody who died in 1950 is still dead. Right? And they're going to remain dead. And they're going to continue to remain dead. So the bottom line is this. It's either you accept Christ in this life, or you stand before him and you give him power for your life. But wouldn't it be so sad that on that day when you stand before Christ, he shows you an image of this very moment. You're laughing and you're mocking and saying, oh, you know, those guys are wasting their time. I heard this so many times. And then you realize that there was some truth to the gospel. I urge you to give your life to Christ. So many young people do the same thing you do. They laugh and they mock. And then they die and realize it was true. Give your life to the Lord. So we are here to preach the message that God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ. That whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you pray this prayer after me? Yep. Before we pray for you? Yep. Okay. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I rededicate my life to you today. I rededicate my life to you today. I surrender in every day. I surrender in every day. I ask you, Jesus. And I ask you, Jesus. To take away everything in my life. To take away everything. Bad thing in my life. That is preventing me. That preventing me. Giving the entire life of my to you. Give my entire life to you. I ask for the grace. I ask for the grace. To live my life for you. To live my life for you. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Jesus, my name. You give me the name. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus, says, Amen. Come and give you the glory and Lord Jesus Christ. So that whoever comes unto you will be more wise past us. As he dedicates his life unto you to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Father, Lord Jesus, I want you to today reveal yourself to me in the name of Jesus, God. Break every struggle, everything that is preventing him to have a loving relationship with you in the name of Lord Jesus, God. Let there be a transformation in his life, in his arrogance, in everything within him, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, and, and after today, let there be an obvious change in his life, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we ask Lord God Almighty, that your name will be magnified in his life, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. God bless you, Lord. There's a garden. My name is Steve, and uh, I do evangelism because one day after a con church convention that I was at, when God was really moving and and God added boldness to my to me, and I, I was able to worship God more boldly. And then after the convention, it was the Victoria Day Monday. I was at home. I think just reading some scripture or whatever I was doing, I'm not sure, but all of a sudden I heard in my spirit, get your Bible and go downtown. 